How you doing there, YouTubers? It's finally happening. I'm taking my four-panel solar tracker down, and I'm going to replace it with the six-panel job that I have. I don't, on, uh, you've seen it on YouTube. I'm going to put one up in my own yard, finally. Install those two top-point solar panels that I just bought, along with the uh, extra inverters. So hopefully this will get done today. We'll see. Alright, be back shortly. Okay, here's an update. It's about an hour and 15 minutes in to uh, tearing down a four panel tracker. These two panels are loose and they're ready to come down. And then we're going to uh, take the old four, channel, four uh, panel job off. And I've got the new one ready to go up. So that's just a quick update. Be back in a little while. Okay, we just uh, slid the new six panel tracker up on the pole. Went up very nice. Now I'm going to hook up the uh, north south axis so it doesn't clock me in the head when I put the panels on. And I got to hook up the, uh, the big actuator here on the ground and do that next. And this is going to be not getting done today. It's getting too late already. So anyway, maybe I'll be back in a minute with a picture of the uh, actuator and the adjustment bolt hooked up. Be right. Okay, we got the tracker up on the pole. I've got it set to 45 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not walking too good right now. Got the uh, nice uh, Stout Windy Nation actuator. That's about all that's going to get done today. Got my new design north south axis. And then I got Abe Lincoln helping me. It's actually Marky G from New Hampshire. It's on the Marky G channel. Got a lot of stuff for sale. So, anyway, today's uh, Friday. December something, 11th maybe. So I'll be back tomorrow with another update and I'll do a time lapse showing this going together. Alright, that's it for now. Okay, I'm going to uh, conclude today's activities with uh, showing how I combined my uh, two additional portrait drops for my uh, end phase units. I don't know if you can see this one here. I had to add two more this guy here and that one to the existing four drops that I had and I just barely made it and I put them inside this weatherproof box and obviously that'll be sealed off so they get stripped, crimped back with butt connectors and then I sealed them with some silicone and then on the, the other end here I don't know if anybody has used one of these yet these are the end phase end cap uh, termination sealers I think they're called and what this looks like inside you just take your uh, four wires you get your neutral your ground a hot and another hot you fold them over these little ears for the end of these uh, in, uh, end phase cabling system just clamp this on push it over screw this on and if you can see these little ears they lock into these ridges here on the uh, bottom piece and you just turn it and that's how you terminate the end the termination cap I think these are called anyway they're waterproof and now that obviously seals in all the hot wires from getting water on them and stuff so anyway I just thought I, thought I would share that that's something I won't have to do tomorrow and then obviously it's going to have this cap over it and then I can put six panels where the old four panel tracker used to be. So that's it for uh, Friday night's adventures. And uh, I'll do some more filming tomorrow when I finish the installation. So that's it for me tonight.